what are you doing? <laughs> My dad told me when I reached high school age, I'd have to start shaving. <laughs> Besides, I want to look my best. I'm at a new school, and I want to reinvent myself. It is an opportunity for you to be rejected by a whole new class of girls. <laughs> I'm not interested in any girl but China. You have to get over her. China only sees you as a friend. And frankly, I don't even really get that. <laughs> All right. If you're such an expert, then how do I get China to start seeing me as boyfriend material? For one thing, start shaving your face instead of your legs. <laughs> Look, if you want China to think of you as boyfriend material, she needs to see you dating someone else. Now, is there any woman who has ever shown even the slightest interest in you? <laughs> My grandma Dottie sends me birthday cards every year. Anyone who isn't related to you? How about China? Wow, you are really bad at this. Oh, wow, I don't know what's more impressive, showing up for lunch that way or the fact that you have your own helicopter. <laughs> You know, I also do traffic for News 650. By the way, avoid the Dumbarton Bridge. It's slow and go. Hey, Dixon. Ready for lunch? Uh, what is she doing here? I met her in math class. Thought the three of us could dine together and all get to know one another. Hmm. Reed. Lexi Reed, meet Parks. China Parks. Oh, we know each other. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, I have to take this. It's Ticonderoga. Mrs. Ticonderoga. Code name? Mommy. I can't believe you crashed my date. It's my date. And let's face it, Dixon's never gonna choose to go out with you over me. I mean, look at me and then look at you. And then look at me again to get the taste of you out of your eyes. Okay, that was mean and it didn't make any sense. Well, maybe this will be clear. Hit the road, China, but avoid the Dumbarton Bridge. I hear it's crazy busy. <laughs> that Lexi showed up and ruined my lunch with Dixon. Do you mind? I'm trying to hang out with my new friend whom I have much more in common with than I do with you. <laughs> I know. So rude. <laughs> Maybe China should try to find new friends like we did, Olive. OK, you're right. I'm sorry I got rid of you earlier. It was inconsiderate, and I apologize. Well. I forgive you, but I can't speak for Olive. Yes, you can! Oh. Well, then she forgives you, too. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna lose Dixon to Lexi, and I really like him. I mean, he's really handsome, and his personality is... Well, I didn't really notice his personality, but I'm sure it's very handsome. <laughs> Try to find some common interests. Mm, Dixon seems like an adventurous guy, so just show him that you like to do things that are dangerous and adventurous. You mean like eating Indian food? It's not that spicy. <laughs> Look, if you want Dixon, you need to step up your game. Olive ain't wrong, honey. Mm-hmm. What about her? She is my girlfriend. Now make sure I didn't notice me. <laughs> Sorry. I already got dibs on her. Fine. What about her? Got dibs on her, too. <laughs> Is there any girl you don't have dibs on? Uh, let me see. Uh, no. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll let you go after Kennedy. The girl who wants to grow up to be president? Yeah. She's a debate prodigy. A girl whose talent is talking? <laughs> no, thank you. You think she'll go for me? No. <laughs> but go for it. Your pathetic little life couldn't get any worse. <laughs> now, remember, it's all about confidence. <laughs> hey, Kennedy, I was wondering if you'd be interested in going out with me. That is a good question, Fletcher. An important question, a question that keeps me up at night. <laughs> but before I answer that question, I think folks need to ask themselves, as a country, where are we going? Um, to dinner at the Taco Hut, I think. I'm confused. I understand where you're coming from. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. That 
is why you need me. That is why America needs me. I don't know what's happening. You know, the other day I met a boy in Pensacola, Florida, Jeffrey Burgess. Jeffrey asked me the exact same question. He said, Kennedy, where do you stand on green energy? That's not what I asked. I need to know if you'll go out with me or not. I am not one to succumb to political pressure. But I am holding a fundraiser to finance my 2032 presidential campaign. And voters prefer candidates in stable relationships. My head hurts worse than my thighs, which has some serious razor burn. That sense of humor is going to win me Ohio. I will go out with you. Kennedy Fletcher for a brighter tomorrow. Hey, easy. I also shaved my armpits. Thanks for watching. Now click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Channel YouTube clips.